Hey guys, okay, so warning, you probably already saw this outfit already on my channel. I'm kind of having a marathon of filming today because I don't know why, it feels like I have not filmed forever. This is my first official day filming in my new place and I just, I'm on a roll and I feel like filming a bunch of videos for you guys today and this is kind of like the traveling bedroom. This is now the third location that you guys have seen this bedroom set in. Um, it's set up a lot different though than my last place and I have like a lot of different areas in the room that I can film. So what I think I'm gonna do is just switch it up. Sometimes I'm gonna film like in my beauty corner, sometimes in front of the bed, sometimes on that side of the room. So I'm gonna try and switch it up and keep it somewhat interesting for you guys. And I seriously, you guys, I think that I just effed up my hair. Um, I don't know if any of you guys trim your bangs at home. I always do. And I have like my side bangs on this side and I'm like, why don't I have bangs on the other side? So I trimmed this side as you guys can see, but I kind of cut it like dry. And you know how when you cut your hair dry, like you have to wash it before it like all looks good together. I don't know. I think it just wants to go this way and it's, I don't know. Tell me if it looks weird or maybe don't even tell me if it looks weird because I can't fix it, but I thought it was weird to have bangs on one side of my face and not on the other. So yeah, let's just ignore that. Anyway, this video is going to be a little bit different than the rest of my videos. I don't think I've ever done this. This is actually going to be a mid-month favorites video. Since I have not been filming so much, I figured that since all of my favorites are piling up that I want to come out with a favorites video midway through the month. So that way I don't have all this stuff and make my monthly favorites video like a 500 minute long video. So what I'm gonna do today is just show you guys a couple of different things that I've been using a lot. Now, here's the thing. Since I have been like, my whole life is really around decorating my apartment and home decor and everything like that, I really rediscovered products that I already had in my huge beauty arsenal instead of going out and spending more money. Um, with that being said, if you guys want to see videos on home decor, I know a lot of you guys have been telling me on Instagram that you want to see like inspiration videos. I'm not like an expert in anything. I get inspired by a lot of other people on Instagram um, and on Pinterest and all of that. I don't have a Pinterest, by the way. I just like to creep on like home decor uh, Pinterest accounts. But if you guys want me to come out with some type of video, not really, uh, just, just inspiration, just basically showing you guys what I have decorated, what my bedroom looks like now, my dining room, my kitchen, the living room is not anywhere near ready. But if you guys want to see videos on like home decor, definitely let me know because I can do that. So. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking so much and get into this video. So I want to show you guys some of the things that I have been loving this month. And for the first time, you guys, I am actually into a game. Now, I know that so many people were into the whole Candy Crush and a lot of different games that kind of get hyped and everyone seems to go crazy playing them. And I'm not one of those people because I don't, I just don't like games. I don't like playing games on my phone. I never have. And all of my friends are obsessed with this new game that it's a detective game. And I have it on my phone here. I actually think I'm going to show you guys like a snippet of me playing it while I talk about it now. It's called Agent Alice. And I don't know why this game just clicks with me. Here's my thinking behind it. It's kind of like a detective. She's a female detective. It's not really gory, but she finds like clues all over of like different murders and different cases that she's trying to solve. And it's kind of like, okay, this is weird, you guys. But I don't know if you guys remember highlights the book highlights where you would go and find there was always a page in that book that you would have to go and find like hidden objects let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about that's kind of the same way that this game works um, it has a dialogue the images are absolutely beautiful and they look really real and I am one of those people that is addicted to ID channel I don't know why if I have any other followers out there that are addicted to the ID channel, let me know. But I kind of just feel like I'm a real life detective when I'm playing that game and I have been seriously so addicted to it lately. So I'm going to show you guys some snippets of me playing it and I definitely am going to go play it again after this video. Um, it's called Agent Alice and it was just free in the app store. And since I work from home when I'm not setting up this apartment or filming or doing something YouTube related. I'm normally on my phone. So it's nice to be on something other than Instagram. So my next favorite that I want to show you guys is what is on my lips because I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys lately or requests to post down below my clothing and what's on my lips. That's what I get requested the most. This top, by the way, is from H&M. 
from forever ago and what is on my lips is my next favorite and I don't know why I feel like when spring comes around that I kind of want to go away from like the matte lip and go for a little bit more of like a glossy hydrated lip so what I'm wearing on my lips now I love this last spring this is um oh my god I don't even know who makes this I think these are called the Maybelline color whispers it looks like this and it is in the color coral ambition and this is what it looks like right here it's a gorgeous gorgeous coral pink color and it's very glossy so I love this it's what I'm wearing on my lips now I've been wearing this a lot lately and it's nice because I have been rocking a lot of that matte mm, not an unnatural lip but I don't know I just feel like when it starts to get a little bit warmer outside I want a little bit more gloss and hydration in my lips so it's a nice change. I've been wearing this one a lot lately and this is like seven bucks. Next, all right, everything that I'm gonna show you guys next is wet because I just took it out of the shower and I just finished taking a shower. Um, and here's the thing, you guys. My skin has been going crazy lately. I actually filmed a video uh, the other day barefaced and it was vlog style and I did not film it for my vlog channel. I filmed it for this beauty channel. It was like a last minute thing and um, it's gonna sound me. It's, I'm gonna sound crazy saying this because I know the way that my face comes across on camera with my studio lighting, with my editing software, with this camera. It looks very clear right now. Um, I will. You know what? I'm gonna pop in the pictures right now so you guys can see what my face looks like without makeup right now. And basically, the other day or a lot lately, I've been having breakdowns because my skin is horrible and it's all over my chest and all over my my back. And really really bad and I'm so embarrassed makeup covers the color the redness but not the bumps and the texture um, and it's gonna sound crazy but I have decided to go on Accutane my dermatologist actually told me that my acne is a 7 out of 10 10 being the worst so um, especially on my chest and on my back it's just insane and I did film that vlog and um, I was crying I was crying hysterically in it um, and I don't want to scare you guys because I was extremely emotional. So what I think I'm going to do is just film a little clip before I upload that on my, on my beauty channel because I just don't want to scare you guys because um, I was very, very emotional. But anyway, I'm going on Accutane. I'm going to start in one month from now and I definitely will document the entire... My doctor said I will be on it for about six to seven months and I'm going to do a monthly update every single month. But anyway... I have to wait a month before I can go on it because you need to have two negative birth control birth control tests. That is not correct. Two negative pregnancy tests. So with that being said, I have I already passed the first one and I have to take another one on the 9th of next month. And um, as long as that one is good, then I can start it. Why do I keep biting my tongue? Like I have a lisp today. I don't know what's going on. I can start it in a month from now. So I'm like, okay, great. At least I will be approved. I can go on it, but I still have to deal with this for a month. So I have found something that has helped my body acne and it was actually recommended by you guys. This is called Panoxyl and it is a maximum strength benzoyl peroxide 10% wash and it says for face, chest, and back. I did try this on my face and my face did not like it. It's entirely way too harsh for my face. but. For my chest and my back, especially my chest, it cleared up so much. I would say 40% of the acne was cut down um, because of this. So I really do like it and I thank you guys so much for recommending this. I picked it up from um, CVS. And I also picked this up from CVS, which you guys also recommended for body acne. And it's an exfoliating glove that you use in the shower. It has a very like scratchy texture to it. That is not a good description, but it's like, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it really helps to exfoliate all the dead skin. And especially this stuff dries out your skin and makes it flaky. That's the way it kills the acne. So these two together, golden. All right, the next products I just wanted to mention because I've been getting a lot of hair questions lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me what shampoo and conditioner that I'm using. I'm using the same one that I believe was mentioned to you guys last. This is the Organics Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, these were each $7.99. You could pick them up at Target, any drugstore. These are sulfate free. I did get the Brazilian Keratin Straightening Treatment last summer. Um, and I remember they told me that I could not use anything that had sulfate in it because it was going to make it wash out. But to be honest with you guys, it was a waste of money because I did not notice anything at all. I got it done. And yes, I already have straight hair, but I thought it was going to take a little bit of the frizz away. 
it didn't do absolutely anything. It was a waste of $200. But anyway, I found a shampoo and conditioner that I like, um, sulfate free. And um, it says for longer lasting, smooth, frizz free hair. I just find that this stuff makes my hair feel a lot cleaner. And because a lot of sulfate free shampoos, I feel like I don't get a deep clean. The shampoo, I love the conditioner. It's okay. I'm just one of those people I like a matching shampoo and conditioner. But after that, I do go in with, you guys know what I'm going to talk about, right? Come on. You guys have to know. Like, I swear about this. I swear by this, not about this. I swear by this all the time. And this is the silicon mix. I have a video all about this. I call this like my miracle hair treatment. It's, oh my God, it smells so amazing. Basically what this is, is a Dominican deep hair, what do, what do they say? It's called a hair treatment. Um, and basically you can pick this up at any like Hispanic beauty supply shop. A lot of places in New York carry this. Any Dominican place will carry it. And um, it's a protein treatment and it coats your hair. It has a lot of silicone in it, so it's kind of controversial. Some people say it's good for your hair. Some people say that too much silicone is not good. But it coats my hair. Um, a lot of girls swear by this on YouTube. And I seriously use this every single time that I shower. And people ask me all the time what perfume I'm wearing. And I'm telling you guys, it's the silicone mix. Because anyone who uses this, you either love or hate the scent. It has a very clean scent to it, which I happen to love. Some people can't stand the scent. I love the way it makes my hair smell. I love, it brings out like the silkiness in my hair. It conditions it, it softens it. And I have a video completely on this, so I will post that down below. So that's what I've been using on my hair in the shower. And then I've been really into these sprays lately. This is the Brazilian Keratin, um, Keratin Therapy Shimmering Keratin Oil. How many times is Keratin gonna be in the title? This is also by Organics. So um, it's by the same brand and they kind of go together. And I just really like it because I just spray it on the ends of my hair and it brings out like shine. It says that it has coconut, coconut, coconut. I think you guys know what song I want to sing, but I'm not going to. It has coconut oil, keratin proteins, avocado oil, and cocoa butter. And it just makes my hair look a lot more shinier and like reflective. Sometimes I feel like the ends of my hair look very dry and just like harsh. I don't know how to explain it, but I have a lot of layers in my hair, which you guys can't really see because it's black and you can't see it on camera at all. But you guys ask me all the time, why is my hair so shiny? And I think it's a combination of the silicone mix and this spray right here. And then the last thing that I want to talk about for the hair, this is also another product that I have an entire video on for like a hundred uses that I use this for. Coconut oil and what I do comes as a solid. And then when you warm it up, it turns into an oil. I love the smell of it because I'm addicted to coconuts. And I do use this as a deep conditioning treatment on my hair about once every two weeks, I would say. I used to be really good about it, but I've been a little bit lazy lately. I just put it in my hair overnight and then wash it out in the morning. If you guys want to see the video on coconut oil and my 100,000 uses for it, I will post that down below. And then I'm talking about a lot of things that I've been get getting questions on lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my teeth lately and it's not even really only on YouTube and Instagram. A lot of people in my real everyday life have been commenting on my teeth lately. I have not been doing anything different. Maybe I'm smiling more because I'm just like in a really happy place, state of mind or whatever. Um, but I just use Smile Brilliant. In the beginning what I did is I applied this gel on my lips every single day for about seven days in a row overnight. And when I say overnight, I mean for about four to five hours. And after I did that initial treatment, my teeth lightened by about seven shades. And now to maintain those results, I apply a little bit of this gel one night, once a month, overnight, if that makes sense. Like three, anywhere from three to six hours overnight, once a month, just to touch up and maintain. Um, the whole system comes with custom retainers and everything like that. I do have a video entirely on this. The video is very old. Um, but it explains everything. There's a demo a before and after and I've been getting a lot of questions on this lately I again, I don't know why a lot of people have been asking me how I whiten my teeth And if you guys want to see an updated like teeth routine teeth hygiene video Definitely let me know. I've been also getting a lot of requests on a hygiene video You guys want to see like what's in my shower what I use I can definitely do that as well And then the last two products that I wanted to talk about was these two brushes I love this brush right here by IT Cosmetics. I just love it after my makeup is done to kind of buff out everything. Since I use bronzer, contour, highlighter, blush, I like to just go over and just buff everything in just to make sure that everything just looks 
not too fake. I just kind of like to airbrush it in. Now the thing is, this is like a 30 plus dollar brush from IT Cosmetics. They're known for their amazing brushes, but they're also known for being like ridiculously expensive. And I have, it's not really a dupe, but it works pretty much the same. You guys can see the Real Techniques one is a lot smaller and a different shape, but the bristles are, like the hairs are very similar. And um, this is $10 at CVS versus like 30 plus dollars and it does the same exact thing um i basically again just go over my makeup and just buff everything in after it's done and um so yeah those have been favorites lately as well and i want to apologize to you guys um that i have not been filming a lot of tutorials lately being honest with you guys because i feel like you guys are my friends and i don't hide anything from you especially with the new vlog channel you guys are really getting to see me or getting to know me um honestly my skin is what's stopping me from filming right now because um i'm breaking out in these cystic cystic bumps all over and i just it's not even that i don't feel confident on camera it's just that i don't want to be playing around with different products on my face during this time i'm sticking by what i know does not break me out and i don't really want to play around with products um, until i get everything out of control so i am so excited to start this medicine i know it's highly contra controversial controversial however you say that but i'm hoping that once you guys see that video that i'm going to upload pretty soon um, and how much of an emotional toll that it takes on me that you will understand why i am doing this and i know that i am not the only one out there I know I'm not the only one out there that cries over skin. And again, don't judge me based on this right now because this is a lot of makeup, this is professional lighting, professional camera, and um, it makes things look a lot more amazing than how my face really looks. So anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. Everything will be posted down below in the description box. I promise I'm gonna get on my grind. I'm gonna get these videos out. Make sure to um, subscribe to my vlog channel. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.